Well, good morning. Today is Monday, October 3rd, and it's time for our weekly meeting highlights. Uh, last week I had a 2.2 gain, I think it was. And so my, and I was in the 50s as far as weight loss. My goal this week was just to get to 60 pounds lost. Um, not, not really overly concerned about the scale too much. I just wanted to get to 60 pounds lost. And I wanted to obviously have a loss to get to that. So let's see how I did. Not bad. I lost 1.8. Uh, so that brings me right at 60 pounds loss, which I'm perfectly fine with. Now I can just work my way up into the 70s. No big hurry. When I get there, I get there. But I want to stay in the 60s, although I've just kind of tiptoed into the shallow end of the 60s. Uh, I want to continue moving forward on a path of losing more weight. So it was a 1.8 loss. I weighed at 244.8. Um, <clears throat> I didn't like seeing the numbers in the 40s still, but, you know, like it's... I'll work on it. I'll get there. But uh, this week it's talking about how to make meal prep quick and easy. So um, we'll see how it goes. It says how to plan meals in four simple steps. Skeptical, skeptical about adding other things to do to your to-do list. We get it. But meal planning is actually a major gift to future you. Use this guide to get ready for the week ahead and see if you don't thank yourself later. Um, the only way I really track my meals for the whole week is when I'm grocery shopping. I have a general idea of what I want to eat for the week. Uh, <clears throat> right now, at the beginning of winter, fall, winter, I've already stocked my pantry. My freezer is pretty well stocked. Uh, so when I go shopping each week, it's mostly just to get uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Although I do have frozen fruits and vegetables in my freezer just in case I can't get out, you know, because of weather or something. But I prefer fresh fruits and vegetables. So my weekly planning is not so much about going to the grocery store, but um, just um, planning on what I plan on having through my freezer and my pantry. I have a app on my phone called To Do List, T O D O L I S T. And if there's something I need along the way that I think, well, you know, this might it'll hold off until I go shopping next week, I add it on the app. So when I go in the store, it's a it's a reminder for me. It's, Somewhat like a shopping list. Um, I don't really keep a shopping list as far as, well, I need to get this, I need to get this, I need to get this. This is stuff that I don't normally get that I put on this list because uh, I would forget. Because it's not something that I buy in, in a normal weekly shopping. So the first thing they want you to do is to plan which meal you're going to plan this week. Yes, you can start with just one. Just like, like say, Thursday dinner. Um, Mine would be surrounded around family dinners. Family dinners are on Thursdays. So I would think what I'm going to plan to have on Thursday dinner. Like next week on our family dinner, we're doing Jimmy's birthday, who's going to be 50 on uh, Thursday. And Jim's birthday, uh, who's going to be 73 next Tuesday. So we're going to combine the both. We're going to have a big family celebration. And I've already bought the meat that I needed because uh, I thought I had roasts in the freezer, but I didn't. And thankfully, they were on sale because both Jim and Jimmy picked roast. Um, so it's going to be an easy meal to plan. Uh, it's a, a very vegetable heavy plan meal because uh, we like green beans, which we will have green beans, peas, corn, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms. We'll have a side salad along with the mashed potatoes and the potato and, and the uh, roast. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's a lot of vegetables. So it's a very it's very easy for me to stay on track. Just having a little tiny little bit of meat, but loading up on the vegetables. Um, make sure you have the time to put everything together, though, when you decide that. So I, Thursday is a busy day. What I do when I make my roast, not that you care, but I always make it the day before. I let it set so all the juices can congeal, as we say in my family. And then I put it in the refrigerator. And then the next morning, I slice it into thinner slices and then when I reheat it I just pour a little bit of the gravy that I made over the top of it and just reheat it in the oven for maybe half an hour if that. Um, it seems to make the roast go a little bit farther. I do find that it tastes a little bit better. I find that most meals, at least for me, taste a little bit better the second day like your spaghettis and things like that but uh, it's just a little trick that I use. And the second thing you do is what recipe will you make? Head to the WW app for inspo We've got 12,000 plus options. 
Okay, they have a lot of options, but they have a lot of ingredients that you don't have on hand, and you're not going to go buy them just for a little pinch of this or a little pinch of that. So I do find their recipes a little troublesome, although a lot of times some of the ingredients that they want you to use, I think you can substitute something else if you really want to try that recipe. And uh, I do find some recipes in there that I do like, but for the most part, I just stick to uh, watching YouTube channels to see what, cha what recipes I like. Uh, recipes with Roy has a uh, recipe every Friday. They always look good. Uh, Joan's Point of Plate always does recipes. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else does recipes. Cat on Point sometimes does recipes. Uh, of course, Christy over at Planning is Healthy does uh, recipes all the time. And, and even if they haven't done a recent recipe, go onto their website and um, click onto the, um, the playlist. And then um, look under the recipes and you'll find, you'll find lots of recipes. I'm going to leave a link to the channels that I mentioned in the description box below. Uh, if you're not subscribed to them, subscribe to them because they all give good content and great suggestions too. And they're all on different plans. Um, I think Kat does like, uh, I think Kat, well, you know, she changes around, but I, you know, she, I think she does keto now. And I know Roy does the Better Bites and Joan does Weight Watchers. Oh, Bee's Journey. Bee's does the Momentum. So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of good choices out there to find a recipe that you might like if the WW app doesn't work. You know, you can always go online and go on the Skinny Girl app. The Skinny Girl has some great recipes. She's got a great copycat recipes. I've tried her Alice's Spring Chicken. Definitely love it. I tried their Pasta Fajuli. Definitely loved it. I can honestly say that there's not one recipe on there that I've tried, <coughs> excuse me, on Skinny Girls that I don't like. You can go on Pinterest. There are so many things that you can go to find uh, you can go to Kim over a girl on her phone. You can go to her house. <laughs> She's got a whole <laughs> shelf. She's got shelves and shelves of uh, cookbooks. Just kidding you, Kim. You're going to get lots of company now. Uh, anyway, number three is think about what ingredients do you need to buy. Check your kitchen to see what you already have. So if you need to buy something that's not that you want in your recipe that's not necessarily handy, um, you know, like I see, I'm not really, I don't always buy cabbage. But I've been looking for stuffed cabbage recipes because I love stuffed cabbage. Jim doesn't like stuffed cabbage. But I try to find meals that I can prepare and freeze. So um, decide on the day and the time you want to shop. I always shop on a, a Wednesday, usually in the morning because that's when the sale first starts. And with uh, everything going now with, you know, we have a lot of, we still have a lot of empty shelves in our grocery stores. But not as many as we used to have, but we still have some. So when you see something now, you got to grab it. And it's terrible because people are like hoarding things. But, you know, I, I just think that unfortunately that's the way it is now. If you want to make sure you have something at that time, you know, like to have when you're preparing something. And then think about how and when you're going to prep your meals. Consider how much time you're going to need. Um, you cut your veggies up ahead of time before you're going to do it. Like I said, when I, we're going to have that big roast dinner on Thursday, I usually like on Wednesday night when I'm watching TV or something that's not really going to interfere with anything, put it in the oven so that on Thursday I can more concentrate on just enjoying the day and not being exhausted by the time everybody comes. Because, you know, like on Thanksgiving, I always feel that the cook is like the, the one that least appreciates the meal because they're so tired and they work so hard. And then when they sit down, they just, I'm sorry, you're going to hear my bells now. All my clocks are going to go off. A couple of them aren't because i got to rewind them. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're lucky. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, I think that they, you just don't, you want to take time to enjoy the meal yourself. So even though you're prepping and that, give yourself time to relax and enjoy the meal you're, you're saying, you're going to enjoy, that you're going to in, imbibe in. Not imbibe, that means you're going to drink. That you're going to eat to sustain your life. How's that sound? Uh, and then ask, ask yourself, how did things go this week? If you say great, challenge yourself to plan one extra meal next week. If it went, yeah, try pinpointing what went wrong and try to figure out what you can do to make it a little bit better next time. You know, maybe you tried to do too much at one time. Maybe you could spread it out. Maybe you, even though you're prepping the meal on Thursday, maybe you shop on Tuesday and on Wednesday prep. I know that's leading up to three days of doing this one meal, but it might work for you in the long run. 
And then when you dive a little deeper, we're all for spontaneity when it comes to weekend getaways and date nights. But at meal times, especially if you're hungry, tired, or busy, or just don't have the energy to cook, it can lead to spontaneous combustion on your points budget. Uh, we've all reached that point at some point. I really do believe that, that you just, you, the best laid plans, you know, you're planning on having this really great dinner and then the day just got away from you and you didn't have time to make the dinner. And so then you think, oh, I'm just too tired. And then you just run and get fast food or you go out and eat. Uh, you can still choose wisely. Listen to what I say, don't do what I do because I always choose poorly. I, I try, I do try, I really do try. They have a healthy option menu on, the, on any restaurant you go to. They will substitute just about at any restaurant you go to. But uh, I, I, that's, that's a project I definitely need to be working on. But on the other hand, if you spend a little time planning at least one or two meals a week, research suggests you're more likely to stick to your goals and lose your weight. The reason it is is because you're giving yourself tools to prepare for the challenges and you turn a healthy choice, which is a home-cooked meal, into an easier one. Because if you've already picked the recipe and you have all the ingredients, you know it's only going to take maybe 15 or 20 minutes to prep before you have to put it in the oven. And making dinner can feel less like a chore. Uh, after all, meal planning isn't about just what you eat, it's about how you eat. So say after a long day when you're faced with less nutrition options, you might plan something that's not really healthy because you just didn't plan for the day. Planning also, planning also often means more than just a healthy meal because it helps you to stay within your budget, which, you know, really it stays within your food budget and your points budget too, and your grocery budget. Because if you plan out everything at the and have everything planned that what you're gonna have, it's way cheaper to make a burger at home than to go out and buy a burger. It, you can take a, a potato and make your own french fries in the air fryer, which would be way cheaper than going and getting french fries and healthier than getting french fries at a restaurant. Uh, if you have the ingredients with you, it's just, think of how much it costs for a pound of burger. I mean, I think a pound of burger now costs probably, I haven't bought a pound of burger in a while because I get it from, I think it's probably seven or eight dollars for a pound of burger. And just think if you just get like a, a, a Whopper, a Whopper meal is like $12. So for $9, you can get a burger with the, we're making it with your own potato. So it's just, in a nutshell, it's just cheaper to make it yourself at home and healthier in the long run. And then, which I don't agree with here, is celebrate a blue dot streak and other small steps that can lead you to your goal. The things that set me astray were the blue dot streaks. I don't set my goals on a blue dot anymore. I track in the app. I keep track of my points. Um, if I go over, I can't go over. If I'm a little under, I'm a little under. Uh, the blue dot was leading me to make poor choices because uh, if I didn't get a blue dot, then I thought, well, you know, the week is ruined. I might as well just do what I want to do. And I went crazy. I went cray cray. So uh, I don't want to do that anymore. So my plan is just to eat healthy, stay within my budget if I can. Sometimes I pick things that are a little bit over my budget, but it's still if I was to count the calories, which I do count the calories too now, I can see that even though my uh, points are my uh, points are over for Weight Watchers, my calories are still under my goal of uh, 1,600 calories a day. So um, I, I strive to get like about 12, 1,300 calories a day so I can lose some weight. At, uh, I'm thinking that uh, that's good for me. It really is. And at my age, I'm, I'm past the point of trying to see massive, great, huge losses. But today with a 1.8 loss, that's a pretty good loss for me. But I'm striving for a pound or less each week. Uh, and then that'll keep me on track longer. It'll take me longer to get to where I want to go, but you know, I'm, I'm going to get there. But like I mentioned on a video the other day, that um, even though I've gained back over 30 pounds, I think it's like, what's your weight today? Yeah, I gained about 34 pounds back. Even though I've gained 34 pounds back, I still consider myself successful because in the past when I have lost weight, now I've been on Weight Watchers for six years now. Um, in the past when I lost weight and got discouraged, I just kept gaining. So if I would have been following the pattern of my past life, I would have been back to my 304.2. I would have definitely been back there. 
but I've been juggling going up a pound, down a pound, up a pound, down a pound. I go back and forth because I, I'm not quitting. I'm still trying. And I, I really believe in myself. And I think that if you really truly believe in yourself, you will be unstoppable. Don't let a couple, you know, like 34 pounds is a lot. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not, but in my old life, it would have been 70. So I pride myself on the fact that, that I try to keep it in check. Uh, I haven't been doing really well this year, keeping it in check, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> excuse me, but I, I really do think I'm back on track. I really do. So, um, but anyway, like I said, 244.8, a 1.8 loss, 60 pounds total. I'm proud of that fact, 60 pounds. I'm proud of the 60 pounds. So um, next week I'm striving for a pound, pound or less is my goal for next week. And then sooner or later, I'll get back into the 30s, and then I'll get into the 20s, and then I'll get into the teens, and I'll get my way back down to get into Wonderland. But Wonderland is too far away now to consume my thoughts with it. My, my first thought right now is to lose 4.9 pounds, however long it takes, uh, to get into the 30s. And so that's what I'm going to plan to do. But I think that the way I'm going to do it is to meal prep my, plan, uh, my meals, plan my meals a little bit better than I have been in the last nine months. So that is my plan for the, the month of October. So I was, how'd you guys do on yours? Do you meal prep? If you do, do you meal prep all your meals? I know some of you do a weekly me, uh, menu, um, but uh, I'm just kind, kind of curious how um, you guys plan out your meals for the week. But if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Stay safe, and I hope to see you here again next week, and I hope to see you on my daily vlog. Talk to you soon. Thank you.